Now that we've had a detailed look at the RL circuit, let's just recap and go over the short-term and long-term behavior of an inductor, because in fact it's a pretty powerful tool to have if you want to figure out what's going on at t equals zero or after a long time. So let's start out with our circuit. The switch is open. We're going to close the switch. And we said that initially, the battery is going to try to send out a current I, but the inductor, since it notices that the current goes from zero to I, is going to say no way and oppose the change. And it's going to be such that the voltage across it is equal to epsilon so that it exactly opposes the current. And at t equals zero, there is no current. In other words, at t equals zero, the inductor behaves like an open switch. So at t equals zero, I can draw my circuit like this. I'll get the inductor out of the way, and I'll just draw an open switch. So I close this one, but it is as if I just opened that one at t equals zero. And of course, if that's the case, then there is no current flowing through the circuit. Now this is at t equals zero, and the inductor L behaves like an open switch. Now, arguably, because this is a very simple circuit, it doesn't tell us much. But if you had a complicated circuit, then you might be able to disable a branch and just look at the rest of the circuit because you would know that the inductor behaves like an open switch initially. So that's at t equals zero. Now let's wait after a long time and see what happens. Well, after a long time, we said that the current flowing through the circuit is going to reach a steady value. And the current, if it no longer changes, there will no longer be self-inductance in the inductor. And therefore, the voltage across the inductor goes to zero. Now, if the voltage across the inductor goes to zero, that means that the inductor behaves like a wire. And therefore, after a long time, I can simplify my circuit and just draw this. It is as if I just had a battery connected to a resistor because L behaves like a wire. So we'll write that down. The inductor behaves like a wire because the voltage across it is zero. And therefore, we could even derive the current. We can say, well, I, in that case, simple Ohm's law is equal to epsilon over R, where this is epsilon. So it's actually quite useful to know this because I can find the current after a long time without having to do complicated equations. If I know, of course, that the inductor will behave like a wire. So it's good to know this. It's good to know the behavior of an inductor short term and long term. And you can actually note that the behavior of the inductor is exactly the opposite of the short term and long term behavior of a capacitor.